Hello everyone and welcome back to TNJ Adventures. This time we're gonna take a look at the Subaru Justy transmission. For some time now it's been clicking and I thought that it's just a clutch that I need to change out but I went to the mechanic with it. They took the transmission out, checked the clutch and yeah it was worn out. Maybe not that much but it was pretty much worn out so that I could change it but unfortunately the clutch bearing wasn't the only one making noise uh, there was something inside the transmission so in this video I'm gonna show you how I take apart the whole transmission so stay tuned like share subscribe and comment It's a Subaru Justy 2008 till 2012 gearbox. Um, it mounts on the 1KR FE engine. It's also the same gearbox as the Daihatsu Sirion with the same engine. But unfortunately, it's not the same gearbox as the Peugeot 107, the Citroën C1, um, Toyota Igo, and Toyota Yaris. They all have the 1KR FE engine, but the gearbox is different so I would have preferred to just find another gearbox and replace it but hopefully we'll be able to change the bearings inside everything apart right now we've got these small pieces coming in here in between the shifter linkages so those are two they just sit in here not sure what they are doing oh, yeah, I know actually I believe they are going in these holes and then 
<coughs> and so this one is reversed like that. And I believe this is, this is the locking mechanism, so these pieces slide left and right and they go into these grooves and this way when one rod is higher than the other one they block the movement so you cannot shift it into two gears at the same time then we've got these shifter rods one for each axle so one is for um, one axle for the other one and one is for the reverse this is the reverse gear we've got these ball bearings uh, on these springs that go uh, I think they go in the other cover that goes on on top of this which makes uh, this whole mechanism work better I guess it also is part of the locking mechanism then on each gear we've got a few bearings on this one and we've got one over here one over here this is the output gear uh, output shaft so this goes to your clutch and then the other shaft is right here this goes on the differential I'm pretty sure this is the first gear probably this one is second and fourth or first third fourth I'm not sure uh, if I look in the manual it states each gear on which shaft it is but I'm pretty sure this is going on the um, differential we've got the bearing right here and another bearing that's still in the um, gearbox cover so this is the clutch cover and this part of the shaft goes into that bearing so on each bearing we've got uh, on each shaft we've got two bearings now I need to find the ones that make noises we also, also have a bearing here on the differential itself so we can see that first gear is part of the assembly here so this is always moving with the differential this one is freely moving then the next one is again locked and so are these so this is one bearing it doesn't make noises also doesn't seem to have any play then we put the gear back this is pretty weird that Feels like the whole shaft is catching right here, but I guess there is a safety um, safety ring here that blocks this whole shaft on the cover, so on the main box, and probably that lifts the whole shaft a little bit. The shifting mechanism itself you can see this rod so it goes inside the box behind here you can see you can rotate and move forward and backwards this moves this part and also sideways um, so from what I see there's also a locking mechanism on this side And then this um, arm goes into all or each of these sh 
shifting linkages and that's how the gears are selected inside the box. Also there's a magnet right here to catch metal inside the box. Doesn't look that bad but of course it does have some metal parts on it. We're gonna clean everything and hopefully be able to change all the bearings that we need to change. These are the parts that we're going to change. We've got three bearings, which is these two. These two for the differential. Then this one, we're gonna have to buy two because it goes on the main shaft. So the input shaft into the transmission from the clutch. And there are two of these same bearings on the shaft, one on one side and one on the other side. Then we've got these three seals. Also this goes um, well in the box where the CV axles come out. These two, the big ones. And this one goes in the box where the main shaft goes towards the clutch. It's a really interesting design that this has to be mounted from inside the gearbox. So you cannot mount it from outside which means if you have to change this seal, you have to take the gearbox apart. And you will see, it mounts right here. So there's where the main shaft goes towards the clutch. 
and the seal goes inside here, so you cannot mount it from outside. The other seal goes in here, where the differential has, goes, and in there, which is the matching box for this side. This is the whole transmission taken apart. I've got here the clutch housing, then this is the other side of the housing, and this is the back side. We've got here, here the bearings that I'm going to replace. These are the old ones, and here are the new ones. And I only found this oil seal, so I will have to reuse these ones. And as you can see, we've got the bearings out. And yeah, the diff bearings. And I'm probably going to leave this bearing inside because it seems to be in an okay shape and I don't want to take all this out. So I'm gonna clean everything up and then reinstall it. Mm -hmm.